Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and let's take a look at our problem. It says, find the equation of the line that runs through the point negative one, four and is parallel to the line y equals negative two x minus three. So first of all, I'll just point out what they're asking me to find. They're not asking me to find a number like they sometimes do. They're asking me actually to write an equation. They said find the equation of the line. And then they gave me some information. Let's take a look. So what they want me to find is an equation. And they gave me a starting place. They gave me a point. Uh, there's a point that's on my line. And then they gave me this kind of random piece of information. It says that my line is parallel to this line. So this isn't my line that I'm underlining here, this equation. However, my line is parallel to that line. So a couple of things that you need to know. Um, we are deep in the concept of parallel lines, so you can go back and check out those videos if you haven't seen them so far. I'm not sure what I'm talking about with lines being parallel. But one of the concepts we keep discussing that keeps coming up is that parallel lines have the same slope. So you might say, well, why do they bother to tell me that my line is parallel to this other line? Because if I know that parallel lines have the same slope, I know that I can steal the slope. When lines are parallel, steal the slope, since parallel lines have the same slope. This guy's slope, and remember, y equals mx plus b is what we call the slope-intercept form of a line. And we learn from this equation, which is on your GED formula sheet, so you don't have to have it memorized, that the m, the letter multiplying x, is the slope. And so I look at this and I see that this line has a slope of negative 2. And so if my line is parallel to this line, my line will also have a slope of negative 2. Great. So I have a slope of negative 2, and I know my line runs through the point 1, negative 1, 4. So I'm just writing down my given here. But what I want to point out to you is that my given, this thing is what we know is an x, and this thing is what we know as a y. When you have a, pay a point, the first value is an x value, second value is a y value. Okay, so we have these three numbers, but there's a problem. There's something important that we don't know. Okay, notice I've been told to find the equation of a line. The equations of line are most often written in that slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b. This is the generic form of any line right now. It has no numbers in it. It's just generic. This is any line. To write about a specific line, you have got to turn both the m and the b into specific numbers. And the trick is, well, we know the m. Notice that no one told us anything about the b, the y-intercept. We don't know it. So what I'm going to do, the very first thing I'm going to do here is solve for the b. I'm going to solve for b. And here's the way I'll do it. I know, there's more than one way, by the way, but I know that um, whenever I know um, all the numbers in an equation except one, I can use it to solve for the unknown. And that's exactly what I know here. I know an m, an m an x value, an x value, and a y value, a y value. I don't know the b, but if I plug the other numbers in, I can solve for it. So let's do that. Let's substitute in the other numbers. So my y will turn into 4. My m is negative 1. These two things are shoved together, the m and the x, so they're... Oh, I'm sorry, I just wrote that down wrong. Hopefully you caught me. What is my m? My m is actually negative 2. Sorry, it was right over here. My eyes just... Uh, looked in the wrong place. And then my x value, my x value of the point is negative 1. So I know all those numbers. Now I don't know my b, but that's okay since I know the others. I can solve for b. So let's do that. Let's simplify first. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Positive 2 plus b. This is almost solved for b. I need to work to get b alone. I'll subtract 2 from both sides of my equation. And 4 minus 2 is 2. And on this side, um, positive b and negative b cancel, or positive 2 and negative 2 cancel, sorry, leaving me with just b. And so I get 2 equals b. So now I know the two things I need in order to write the equation of a line. I know my m and I know my b. But don't forget to actually do what you were told to do. You weren't told to find out what m is. You weren't told to solve for b. What you were told to do is write the equation of a line. See the directions? Find the equation of the line. So your last step here, and I ran out of room down there, so I'll write it up here, is to plug in the m and the b into the equation of a line formula. So why, and you're like, why am I plugging in again? Because they wanted an equation, not 
not a b. So y equals negative 2x, and I just found out my b was positive 2, so I'll write plus 2, and there you go. That is the final answer. This is the equation of a line. So your final answer here is y is equal to negative 2x plus 2. Great. This is a complex problem. It's one of the most challenging on the GED, so if you felt a little overwhelmed, I highly suggest you go back through the whole entire um, playlist or the whole entire unit on points, slope, and graphing lines because I was just hitting all those topics really hard and the GED hits them really hard as well. So if you have any questions about this or any other math concept, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them.